Meghan Markle brought a suitcase of outfits on a trip to Rwanda, and insisted a photographer join the entourage, a new biography of the Duchess of Sussex has claimed. The money spent on outfits and flights could have fed a whole village for a month. I note that the clean water was provided by ordinary people worldwide what the hell are they doing with the money Archwell raises? Meghan visited Rwanda back in 2016 to film an advert for World Vision Canada. The charity was working to promote well-building in the central eastern African country. But in a new biography, royal author Tom Bauer claimed the Duchess flew first class to Rwanda with a personal hair and makeup artist in tow, as well as fashion photographer Gabor Jarina. This is where your money goes when you donate to World Vision, first class tickets to Africa for a bloody photo shoot. Never again will I donate to what I thought was a worthy cause. Mr. Bauer, writing in, Revenge, Meghan, Harry, Harry and the War Between the Windsors, describes how the producer who was scheduled to travel on the trip, Brenda Serminsky, was unable to join the group. When Ms. Serminsky could not travel to Rwanda, she was replaced by a Canadian cameraman. Mr. Bauer claimed the Duchess of Sussex disappeared with Mr. Jarina for a photo shoot with a number of children after filming them at a water tap. Mr. Bauer wrote, at the end, Sir Minsky was puzzled, celebrities using a desolate African village as the backdrop for a fashion shoot was mind-blowing, Mr. Bauer added, for hours, Jarina photographed the perfectly coiffured actress hugging, squeezing, and smiling at village children. Mr. Bauer claimed Ms. Serminsky spent just 30 minutes speaking to Meghan before the Duchess agreed to a collaboration project. World Vision described the trip on its website as Meghan having helped bring hope to communities. The charity continued. The Duchess of Sussex visited a school in Rwanda soon after becoming a World Vision ambassador in 2016. The page added, Megan helped bring clean water to a community thanks to the donations of ordinary people worldwide, she was inspired by how this empowered women and girls within the community. But ahead of the biography's release date, the tale of truth, as its author described it, was one which Megan, will be dreading. An anonymous source told The Sun, this is the book Megan will be dreading, Tom doesn't pull his punches and is terrifyingly thorough in his research. No stone will be left unturned, the book, which was released this week, claimed that Megan allegedly reduced Kate, Duchess of Cambridge, to tears ahead of Megan's wedding to Prince Harry. Megan has denied she made Kate cry over an alleged spat about bridesmaid dresses. Mr. Bauer claimed Kate burst into tears after the Duchess of Sussex compared Princess Charlotte unfavorably to her best friend, Jessica Mulroney's daughter. No surprise here, look at me, look at me. Bowers is right. She bagged a prince for personal gain and fame. Sadly for Harry, it probably won't end well. Meghan and Harry could have given from their own millions, but, instead, they get the public to donate, whilst they make it appear they are the biggest donors. So I was doing some research. Was I ever involved in an American charity, humanitarian cause? World Vision Canada. Because she was not famous or running with the Hollywood crowd? Meghan addressed the claims in her explosive interview with Oprah Winfrey in 2021, saying, Kate was upset about something, but she owned it, and she apologized, and she brought me flowers. Meghan addressed the claims in her explosive interview with Oprah Winfrey in 2021, saying, Kate was upset about something, but she owned it, and she apologized, and she brought me flowers. She is such an accomplished liar. Catherine took the flowers as a peace offering not to apologize for anything she did, but to try to keep peace within the family due to Meghan's disgusting behavior towards little Charlotte. I am reading the book. It identifies who said what and when. Who witnessed it and proof of who, what, where, and when. Already after the first two chapters, a picture of Meghan, her behavior, and her psychological profile is very disturbing, there is nothing for her to get hold of and sue.
I am left thinking how easy it was for her to lie on the Oprah interview, she has been practicing for years. It's a bandwagon, meme will always make it all about her, get the photo shoot out of the way, then back on the private jet to her next opportunity for self-promotion, shameful. She also disappeared from the SA tour for a few days, perhaps she nipped across the Red Sea for a big of work and some diamonds? The Fomitarian needs a makeup artist and a hairdresser for a photo shoot for World Vision, flying first class with our donated money. Another one I will be striking off my list. They have become businesses. Do all these charities need to come clean on how donated monies are spent? What percentage is given to the intended people? Why do they need the so-called celebrities visiting poverty? Why can't they use local photographers to capture the local people and use that for the campaign, instead of photo shoot setups with bananatarians raising their profiles on the backs of the local poor? The charity gravy trains need to stop. These days with the internet in almost every hospital, school, etc., having a website we can donate directly to the intended recipients. I've started doing that and cancelling the middlemen, charity foundations, their commission is way too high, they have become greedy at my expense and with my money. She is the epitome of this greed, this woman uses anything and anyone to promote herself. She even uses the tragic death of innocent children in Uvalde as a cheap PR drop. Megan will not shy away to use and abuse people to promote herself. And as leading Harry on the same path, most people spot a fake miles away, they may not realize exactly why they have taken a dislike initially, purely gut instinct. A genuine charitable person will not consider cameras or clothes for a photo shoot. Judging by her appearance in those pics, the suitcase full of clothes, hairdresser and makeup artist got lost somewhere in transit. Nothing shames this needy narcissist. Lugging a box of clobber with her for a furtive fashion shoot in Rwanda. Jesus wept. I hope Harry hears of this. Markle's behavior and insufferable opportunism have done immeasurable damage to charities worldwide. Ah, the poor starving children. Oh, hang on and wait till I change into these expensive outfits, then I will get my photo with you. The camera did you get that one with me cuddling the starving girl and was my outfit okay? Hope she didn't blubber over it. By the way, did you book that nice restaurant? This is the period when she stepped up the charity work, knowing it would look good on the resume of someone hoping to be considered a potential royal bride, it back quote as difficult to put into words the despicable nature of this evil little woman. Their back quote as much more to this Archwell charity than is publicly known. Got me wondering if she orchestrated a similar photo shoot when she visited the Uvalde victims' families. I wouldn't put anything past that creature now. Of course, she did, didn't you watch the video on YouTube which pointed out the Netflix law taking shots of her from various angles and how she did certain acts twice to get it right. This is why I only support local charities. This line right here says it all. The page added, Megan helped bring clean water to a community thanks to the donations of ordinary people worldwide. So what did she do to help? You flew her out first class just to have her photo taken. The only people who helped here were the ones who put their hands in their pockets, especially in the current climate. Did Megan. It's not right to use poor children in staged photo shoots, they have enough to contend with just searching for clean water to drink. I stopped giving to these charities a decade ago after watching a docu-series showing how much their directors of them were paid and how the money was divided up. If it took a few fools and attention seekers like Markle and her husband to draw attention to the state we have allowed the world to get into then perhaps they did us all a favor. Most people I know have had enough, from now on we will be resisting the useless works and the whining minorities who appear to want to do a lot of talking with very little genuine giving while receiving pats on the back for their endless kindness.